For today, we will be talking about what is debit and credit. It is important to determine the difference between the two. Kailangan natin to when we are recording transactions. So, ang kailangan nating tandaan ay ang acronym na dealer. So, yung T is for the debit and yung LER is for the credit. Let's start with the debit. Acronym for debit is DR. And also, nasabi kanina na ang acronym na T is for the debit, D-E-A. So, let's start with D. D is for drawings or withdrawals. So, ito yung mga wini-withdraw ni owner sa business for its personal use. Whenever there's a withdrawals from the business by the owner, you debit a drawings account. Next under the debit are expenses. Expenses are defined as decrease in assets or increase in liabilities that result in decrease in equity other than those relating to distributions to holders of equity claims. Simply, expenses are expenditures of the business. For example, if you have a salon and you're paying for your utilities, you debit to utilities expense. And also, if you rent ka ng space, mo, you also record a rent expense. Another account under the debit are the assets. Assets are resources of the business. Example of this are cash, AR, inventories, PPEs, and intangibles. Always remember that drawings, expenses, and assets are under the debit, meaning they have debit as their normal balance. Pag sinabi nating normal balance, pag nag-increase itong tatlong accounts na to, you will record a debit. So on the other hand, pag nag-decrease, you record a credit. Punta naman tayo sa credit. The acronym for credit is CR. Under dito ay tatlong accounts, which is yung L for liabilities, E for equity, and R for revenue. So first is liabilities. Liabilities are present obligation of entity to transfer an economic resource as a result of past events. So, kapag umutang tayo, we record a credit. Next is E for equity. So, equity represents the residual interest of assets of the entity after deducting all its liabilities. Next is the revenue or income. Revenue is defined as increase in assets or decrease in liabilities that results in increase in equity other than those relating to contributions from the owners. Pag sinabing revenue, ito yung kita mo from the normal operations of the business. For example, you have a business which is a salon. You record the revenue to wing may customer ka. Always remember ang tatlong ito. Liability, equity, and revenue accounts have credit as their normal balance. Pag sinabi natin credit as their normal balance, pag nag-i-increase itong liability, equity, and revenue accounts, you record a credit. On the other hand, pag nag-decrease itong tatlong to, you record a debit. We are done with the debit and credit. Basta always remember yung acronym na D. Lure. Drawings, expenses, and assets under the debits, liabilities, equity, and revenue under the credit. In this video, we will be talking about the accounting cycle. Accounting cycle are the steps or procedures in recording transactions and preparation of financial statements. Ito yung mga dapat nating gawin in order to come up with the financial statements. There are 10 steps in the accounting cycle. Let's start with the step 1. Step 1 is identifying and analyzing. Here, we analyze documents 
whether they are accountable events, meaning they have effect on assets, liabilities, income, and expense accounts. Examples of document sources are vouchers, receipts, invoices, and other documents that represent or an evidence of a transaction. After identifying the accountable events, we now go to the second step which is journalizing. In here, accountable events identified are recorded in the journal through the journal entries. So what is a journal entries? Ito yung mga entries na ginagawa natin when we are recording transactions. These journal entries are recorded in the book which we call the journal. So what is a journal? Journal is a book of original entry. Transactions are initially and chronologically recorded. After journalizing the transactions, we now go to the step 3 which is posting. So kung ano man yung na-record natin in the journal, lilipat lang natin papunta sa ledger account. So the process of transferring data in the journal to the ledger is called posting. So in the ledger, there's a classification or grouping of similar accounts. For example, there are several journal entries about cash. So, pag nag-ledger ka na, yung cash accounts ay magkakasama. Step 4 is preparation of an adjusted trial balance. It is a list of all accounts with their balances. Whatever the total amounts of accounts na nakuha sa ledger, yun yung gagamitin sa an adjusted trial balance. Next is adjusting entries adjusting entries are made in order to update their accounts on the basis of accrual accounting so ano ba yung accrual accounting accrual accounting says that you record an income when earned regardless of when collected and you record expense when incurred regardless of when paid so magre-record ka ng income kung kailan mo kinita and magre-record ka ng expense kung kailan mo ginastos so there are four types of de of adjusting entries depreciation accrued expense or income an earned income and prepaid expense so we will have a separate video about the adjusting entries kasi mahaba-haba ang usapan to Next is preparation of the adjusted trial balance. So the adjusted trial balance will be used in preparation of the financial statements. Kung ano man yung total amount of accounts na nakalagay sa adjusted trial balance, yun din yung mag appear sa ating mga FS. Next is preparation of financial statements. These are reports communicated to users. FS are the end products of the accounting process. So we have the statement of financial position statement of changes in equity statement of cash flow and income statement or statement of comprehensive income next is closing entries dito we close all the nominal accounts so what are nominal accounts Temporary or nominal accounts are accounts related to income and expense. So, sa closing entries, all income and expense accounts are zero out. So, kapag tinanong ano yung balance ng income and expense, after closing entries, it is zero. Next is post-closing trial balance. So, post-closing trial balance, real accounts remains. Asset, liabilities, and equity accounts. These are the components of the Statement of Financial Position. Next is Reversing Entries. It is done to reverse certain adjusting entries at the beginning of the next accounting period, meaning on January 1, and it is optional. It's up to the company if gagawin nila yung reversing entries. There are different types of reversing entries. First, accruals, which are accrued expense and income. The prepaid expense when expense method is used and earned income when income method is used so the reversing entries will have a separate video then kasi it is interrelated to the adjusting entries
Let us go back to the very first step of the accounting cycle. Step 1 is identifying and analyzing accountable events. Step 2 is journalizing into the journal. Step 3 is posting to the general ledger. Step 4 is an adjusted trial balance. Step 5 is adjusting entries. We have four types of adjusting entries. Step 6 is adjusted trial balance. Step 7 is preparation of the financial statements, the SFP, SCE, SCF, and income statement. Step 8 is closing entries. Step 9 are post-closing trial balance. And lastly, preparation of reversing entries.